And before I get to the intro intro, I want to let you know that I'm doing this as a premiere. So if you're watching this, there will be a chat and you can ask me questions while you're watching that video and I'll monitor that chat for you. So, all right, now let's get to the beginning of the video. Good morning, everyone. And this episode, we're going to talk about why you shouldn't buy a new home here in the Villages, Florida. If you're new to this channel, my name's Robin Cavallaro. I am an MLS realtor here. I primarily sell in the Villages as your buyer's agent. If you're looking for someone to represent you in the transaction, you gotta give me a call. So, I get and I know every other realtor here has the same question that they have to answer is, why are the new homes so much less expensive than the pre-owned homes? And should I really buy a new home here in the Villages, Florida? So I wanna address a couple of things. First off, let's just take a look at the map of the Villages overall north from 42 all the way down south to Denby, which is on the border of Route 470, which is Central Parkway, and just outside of the entrance to the Turnpike. And, you know, I say this often. I love South of 44. I think this is a, still a five-year investment. Um, the new sections, though, are so far away from everyone. It might not be the end-all be-all that you think it is just because the price of the homes are so low. Um, we're going to go to the computer when I'm finished with this intro and I'm going to show you the taxes and the bond. I'm going to show you where to find those things and how to calculate your taxes. So you have a better understanding and a better idea of what you can expect to pay. I'm just going to move this here a little bit. Um, when you finally settle on a home, because I know a lot of buyers get a surprise because they aren't 100% informed on what their taxes and their bond will be and what that means for an annual payment. Please remember, if you are searching for a home here and it's new, you must go through the villages. Um, you have to use their sales associates for everything new. For pre-owned, you need both. You need to have a sales associate on their side and an MLS representative so you see all of the pre-owned homes in the inventory. Now, I know um, I've heard from many of my buyers that they get misinformation, that um, they don't need both, and that someone can take care of them completely, and that's not true on either side. If you hear an MLS person tell you that, which you probably won't, or a VLS person, I don't know about, but you need both to see everything. And I, I can't stress enough, uh, look, I wanna sell you home, this is how I make money, but if it's not the right home for you, it's not the right home for you. And then you need to go and you need to, um, my camera keeps rolling. I can't get it to stop. Um, you need both sales representatives so you can see everything and make the best informed buying decision that you can. Okay, so we'll get that out of the way. And I wanna talk about, so let's talk about the new homes. I know the prices of the homes are coming down. Um, in the new section in Denby, especially. Um, Newell, they have some pre-owned homes now that are coming up on the market. Excuse me, it's still early. I gotta get my last bits of coffee. I got a big day. Um, so no matter what, when you purchase a new home, you're more than likely going to make some type of upgrades. So, and what I mean by that is, and this happens all the time, it's the village's way. You purchase the home, the contractors start coming in, even with the new ones, because you're gonna walk in and I don't like that ugly countertop, I don't like that cheap drop in stainless steel sink, I, um, I want closet organizers. So if you go in and say, I love this house just the way it is, just figure you're gonna spend 10,000 doing something, probably landscaping. And I'm going through this because sometimes a pre-owned home might be really good for you. You just don't realize it because you get so hung up on, oh, this home is only $330,000 and this is only two sixty. dollars But in the end, it may end up costing you more money. Only you know what fits for you. Now, a new home might be the right answer for you. You know, I, I don't know, but I've had people stay down there and I'm just, I'm, 
I know the whole topic is don't buy a new home, but really I want to make sure everybody has the correct information. Um, if you're looking to be close to all the activities and you want to be near, oh my God, this is driving me insane. <laughs> uh, if you want to be near golf and all of the activities, north of 44 is probably a better option for you because you're going to be too far south. I've had... Uh, people in lifestyle stays way down in Denby, and they've told me it takes 20 to 25 minutes by golf cart to get to Magnolia Shopping Center, which is the only store that we have south of 44. And I will be the first to admit, we don't have a lot of amenities down here south of 44. I was with a friend of mine last night. We went to her daughter's soccer game at the um, charter school, and we really only had... We had three options. We could go, well, this, because we didn't want to go over to, um, across the turnpike. She had to go back up north, but um, we have Fenny Grill, we have Marco's Pizza, and that time of night we had Chinese Takeout and Willie G's, and that's really it. So there's not, there's still not much down here, but you have to be okay with that. I gotta take this. Yay, we got a contract. All right, I had to take that call because we got a contract. All right, so I kind of don't remember where I was now. We're talking about the new homes. You're always going to put something into them. So just figure out if it makes sense because, you know, there might be a pre-owned home with no bond and lower taxes that just works for you. I think down south in Denby, not as much here where I am. I'm in the Fenny area. We're closer with a lot of things, but that's way out in the middle of nowhere. Seriously. And it's going to be for a couple years. But, you know, if you're in for the four or five year investment, I think you'd be sweet by then because then they'll have developed more infrastructure down there. So, you know, you if you're okay with sitting and waiting. But again, if you want to be close to a lot of the activities... You really need to be closer than the new section. You have to be cognizant of the fact that they're dropping the prices for a reason. Those homes aren't selling. And in retrospect, a lot of the pre-owned homes are not selling either. They're sitting. It's kind of a little bit of a slow time of the year. So just take that, you know, all into consideration. But um, the turnpike and the power lines, you have to really look at that now. The noise, some of the noise wouldn't bother me. I can't really hear all that well. But, you know, everyone has their own uh, sensitivity to heat, smell, sound, you know, all those things. So you, you really need to evaluate it. If you're buying a home from out of town on a video, make sure they go outside and you hear what it sounds like. Because, like, a gentle hum might not bother you. A gentle hum may drive you insane. So it all depends. So a lot of the homes here now, just, you know, even with the appliances, no washer and dryer, no refrigerator, you know, you need to take all of this into consideration. Don't get seduced by the cheap price because there's a reason why there's a difference between a Ford and a Mercedes, you know, so just, just keep that in mind, be open, get your ducks in a row. Make sure you know your costs. If you have any questions about contractor costs, I have a lot of information about contractors. I do have a list. You can email me. I have a contractor list that I send out to all of my new buyers. Um, but I'd be happy to send that out to you. Um, but give me a call if you have any questions about how much things kind of cost. Roof, countertops, flooring, closets, you know, all that kind of stuff. Painting. Give me a call, email, and ask me these questions. I'm here to be a resource for you. Um, and also, don't forget, a lot of the things that I'm talking about, I'm talking about, are in my book, which you can get it as a download on my website, or you can purchase it for Kindle and in print on Amazon. All right, so let's go to the computer. I want to talk to you about bonds, CD, or the bonds, where to find them, the tax bills. But before I get over to the computer or while I'm going over there, I want you to watch this. Before we start, make sure you go to my website, robincavallero.com, and here's the address here. Uh, you can search for any home that's available here, well, in Florida, but in the villages. And what I've done is I've broken it down by sections. So if you want to search the historic area, you want to search Marion County, you want to search south of 44, and on and on. You can just click on it, 
and search it. You can save the searches. It'll send you emails with market updates. You get notes from me all of the time reminding you, hey, I'm here. Do you need help? So don't forget, go and search my website and also get my book. It's available in Amazon on print, in print on Amazon. Also, you can get it on Kindle or as a download on my website. All right, back to the regularly scheduled program. <laughs> All right. If you live here in the villages, this is almost the center of your universe, districtgov.org. And everything you need to know is more than likely found on this website. I use it often when I'm going to look for the bond balance, um, if I need to send deed restrictions out for a certain district, I use the site. So it's districtgov.org. Now I want to show you where I'm going to find the, oh my God, I can't even spell. This is where I go to find uh, the amortization schedule for all the bond balances. So it says bond amortization schedule. So I just click that. And so here are the districts. So Marion County District 4. It's Marion County. Uh, Sumter Districts 1 through 3, District 5 through 10, District 12, 13, and 15 are in um, Sumter County. So 15 now is going to be Moultrie Creek, which is the new section that they've been releasing. Um, 11 and 14 are um, 11 is, um, what do you call it? up Northmore and 14 is going to be the new section, Newell, Denby, Lake Denham. All right, so um, let's just go to Lake County. And then after this, I'm going to show you where you look at the tax bill. Um, okay, so if you were in a courtyard, veranda, or a patio villa, your section will be listed here, Reagan Villas, Leo Villas, Jackson Villas. You need to know which villa section you are in. You click on it and it gives you all the information. I do outline this in my book as well. If you haven't picked up a copy of that, you can get it as a download on my website or you can uh, purchase it on Amazon for Kindle or in print. Um, so it shows you here, number one, this is the interest rate that they bought the municipal bond at, and they're all going to be different. You can scroll through all of these on the site and you can find out how much the interest rate is. And it'll tell you the first year. So these are homes that are going to be um, for 2024, or that they started in 2023. The original bond balance was $24,401.17. Um then they'll start to add, then there's the principal interest, the admin fee, and the total that you pay annually. And obviously that changes just a little teeny tiny bit. But just like any kind of car loan, or excuse me, just like a home loan, um, you pay more to interest in the beginning and more towards principal in the end. Um, and then you can see how long it's going to take you to pay it off and how much that $24,000 bond will cost you $53,000 at the end. So that brings up another good point. Do you pay the bond off or not? Well, everyone knows their own financial situation. The bond stays with the home. It doesn't stay with the person. So if you are going to buy this home and stay in it 20, 30 years, well, maybe it does pay to pay the bond off. Famous last words. I hear people say, I'm going to buy leave this home 20 years and two years are calling me. I need to sell it. You will sell your home quicker. You won't sell it for more money. So just think about that. But it, at five and a half percent, you know, it depends on what your money is making in the bank. Uh, you definitely would want to talk with your financial advisor about that. I'm not here to give you financial advice. 
but you would want to talk with a financial advisor on what the best opportunity is for you because each and every person's financial situation is different. So whether you should pay the bond off or not is all. I, as a real estate professional, I'm going to tell you that a homeowner may have a different perspective because when you watch all the videos, everyone has great information and a lot of it is from their own perspective. So, um, you know, just take everything into consideration when you're reviewing other videos that you are actually talking about the same things because sometimes you're not, but they do, you know, everybody gives you good information. They give you some kind of content that you can use. I'm really, it's really exciting that so many people are out there on YouTube and um, talking about this community because there's so much great things to be said about it. Um, that some of this stuff like the bond that people don't like and the CDD they don't like become inconsequential because the lifestyle is unparalleled. The developer has done an amazing job here at providing a community that people want to live in and how many homes that they can continue to sell and build and resell. So, um, there's a little plug for the villages. I definitely, well, I love it here. So, um, but anyway, so this is where you're going to find this. Now, if we go back, let's scroll up and I'm going to get out. Uh, I'm going to go back one more. I'm going to get out of Lake County. So I want to show you just so you kind of have. Oh, and all right. So here uh, and we'll go through this in a minute. But residential units, those are all the designer homes and you will find this unit 45 you have to find that from the tax bill so you would have to specifically know which address you're looking for and then you'll be able to find this um, i know it's a little cumbersome but if you're searching for a home and you want to know more details maybe if you're real or it, let's say uh, you haven't contacted a real estate professional yet and you're searching at home. If you go to the county and enter the address, say you see something on my site that you thought was interesting and you want to find out some more information about the bond, whatever. Uh, if you go to the county's website and you put the address in, you will be able to find a tax bill. And on that tax bill, which I will show you in a minute, it'll have the lot number. And then you'll know um, how to find the bond. And we'll go through that whole exercise, but right now I just want to show you where the bonds are. Now you can see uh, this is 2.32% interest. And after, I think I finally did, it was like, if it's maybe 20 years, they, these will fall off. So there would have been like another page here. It's not that this bond was taken out in 2022. It's just as they um, get older, this sheet gets smaller. That makes sense. Um so here they only have on this bond, they only have uh, $3,000 left on it. And it's a 2% interest. Again, you would figure out if that made sense for you to pay it off or not. But again, principal, interest, admin fee, total. And you can see how low they are. Now, Solier and Phillips, those are brand new. They were built in 2017. So those, and then you can see even a 2017, where'd that interest rate go? Oh, huh. there's no interest rate on here. Oh, there it is right down here. Bond interest rate 3.35. So you can see how much interest rate is jumped on a municipal bond in a couple of years. So anyway, but so they're all here. You just have to find the county. You have to find the unit number or the villa name, unit, the um, community, you know, like whatever. Fernandina Villas, Amelia Villas. You have to find that. Um, and then you can find out what the bond balance is. Now, this one was 2014. You can see it's 4.73% interest. Yeah, just take that into consideration. And the main reason why we're here, again, is because about the new home. So if we go into Lake County, and we're going to go to District 14. Now, uh, these are verandas. Some of them I can't tell right now if they're patio villas or not. But you can see this veranda, the bond is $34,000. That's what it was to start. This designer home, bond was $32,000. This designer home 
Hello, Sunshine. The bond was $72,000. Now, this could have been over a million dollar home. I don't know. I can't tell from this. But um, when you're buying a new home, you might want to think about it. Make sure you ask all the appropriate questions. This one on lot, whatever, unit 41, $43,000. This is all public information. Um, I got to tell you, utility bills in the villages are also public information. <gasps> yeah, you can search it. Find out if whoever you're buying the house from is paying their bills. Um, all right, so this villa, this is $39,000. I'm going to say this is a courtyard. I know it's probably a courtyard too. Uh, pretty sure that the most of the patio villas are $23,000. And this one's 30. So you'd have to take a look and see. $41,000. All right, so here, we're going to do this exercise here. I'm going to get on to uh, Lake County's website, and I'll be right back. All right, so um, it's Lake County Property Appraiser's Office, and up here, and I'll put the, here's the address, I'll put it in the bottom. So now when you go to this site, here's the tax um, estimator. Put in the purchase price, and if, if it's a new home, just go, obviously, you have to go on the full purchase price. So let's just say $400,000. The average price of homes here, $400,000. Is it homestead exempted? Well, is that um, your primary residence? You can claim homestead exemption. Now, here's where you need to know where you are. So property location, we do have Lake County Fruitland Park, and that's north of 44 over in the, it's uh, west or east of Morse over past that Bell Glade section there. That's the Fruitland Park section. There is a section of Lady Lake, which is the historic district, and that Del Mar section, which is west of Morse, and that is just south of Spanish Springs. And then we have Leesburg, and that's where all the new building is in Newell, Lake Denham, and Denby. So this purchase price of 400000 with a homestead exemption, you could expect your property tax would be $5,300. Now, if we go to, um, let's just take this villa, you're going to add $1,700, $750, or $1,757 onto that. Now we're at the Newell Veranda Homes, you're going to add $2,500 onto that. So, and if that's if the veranda costs 400,000, um, so 2,500, there you go, almost 8,000. And I'm just going through this exercise so you are very well aware of what the bond is going to be. Now you got one of those big old designer homes down there. Let's just say the bond is 5,100. So let's just say that's an $800,000 home. The taxes are going to be $11,000. And then you're, nope, not there. Where are we, Ari? Not this one. Here we are. The taxes are going to be $11,000. And on that lot, the bond is going to be another five. So you're going to pay 16, almost probably 17, 18,000 in taxes when you're done with the bond and the CDD. So, um, you really need to make sure you understand what you're buying and what it's going to cost. And here, see, I'll show you this. So you see this 2023, it has $883. That's undeveloped land. That's why it's nothing. And then when it hits 2024, this is the first year it has to get paid. And that's what that is. Um, same here. And same here. So... Just think about it. That's all. It might be the right opportunity for you, but it has to be the right opportunity for you. You have to weigh out your pros and cons. It's just a fact. You want to make sure you don't get a big old surprise tax time thinking, I've heard people say that. I didn't, and this is not just villages specific. I've heard this from both sides where buyers will buy the home and they're like, wow. I didn't realize the taxes were going to be that much. And, and you have to look at this now because 
the prices of the homes have jumped up so much and i've said this in a video before realtors will start to put in the land in the realtors notes you know they've occupied this house for 20 years you can expect a significant increase in the property tax so just make sure whenever you're going to purchase a home here that you go and you or your realtor or your sales associate calculate the property tax so you know exactly what it's going to be or close i mean i don't those are very close but you know they might be off a little bit never know so do your own research all right all right everyone i hope you enjoyed this monster episode um i'm robin cavallaro i'm a realtor here in the villages florida if you're interested in buying or selling a home give me a call i'm your girl all right if you enjoyed this episode take a look at this next one i think you're gonna like it until next time I'll be back before Christmas. Anyway, I'll see ya.